Hey everybody, I hope everyone's doing well on this second day of October. I know I'm doing quite well myself. I'm just sitting outside learning about the constellations and the meaning of the zodiac. <laughs> this is kind of uh, the next step I'm taking in my practice. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time, but I just haven't really got around to it. Um, so, since the moon was in Aries, the other day, uh, what was that, Saturday, uh, it gave me a reason and a feeling to go ahead and get started with this, so that's what I'm going to do, and I thought, you know, why not make a video um, sharing with you guys some of the things that, you know, I'm going to be doing and learning about with these constellations, so that's kind of what this video is going to be about, just me um, discussing some of the constellations and the meaning of the zodiac, and if you can tell I'm outside, it's just such a lovely day. Um, there has been some mosquitoes, but I'm trying to kind of be in the sun slash in the in the shade <laughs> so uh, I don't get torn up too bad because it's just such a beautiful day and um, I just love being outside when it feels cool because where I live there's usually it's just really humid around here and um, you may notice that I'm wearing my glasses a lot more in some of these videos that's because um, my contacts, uh, I ran through pretty much the last batch of my contacts. So I'm going to have to order some more, but, you know, i got to wait till this job kicks in and money starts rolling in so I can afford to buy extra things. And I'm sure all of you know all about it. <laughs> but um, I'm just sitting out here enjoying nature and enjoying this breeze and just doing a little studying. So I just got done doing some stuff here and... I wanted to kind of go over some of it with you. So, um, what I've got wrote down here is the 12 zodiac signs and um, what each one means and what each element is for each one and things like that. So, as I said, the moon was in Aries on Saturday and that started um, a new, um, the new. <laughs> I don't know, um, just started the new cycle, I guess you could say, um, for the moon, going through these constellations. So I thought this would be the best time to monitor and keep track of, you know, my progress and the way that I connect and the feelings or energies and things that I get out of each constellation. So um, this is not personal information I'm going to share with you. It's actually some stuff that I have researched um, throughout time. And I'm just going to kind of run through it, and I will be reading, so I won't be staring at the camera. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, for Aries, we have, it's the ram, and it is ruled by Mars. And it is a cardinal fire sign. And it says that Aries is good for working with aggression, leadership, enterprise, warfare, anger, new beginnings. So, hey, new beginnings, you know, new beginnings with the Aries starting. Uh, you know, new beginnings starting with working with the constellations and the zodiac signs and feelings. So this is the best time to begin. <clears throat> and if you are interested in any of this, um, I would love to hear you guys, you know, share your experiences and things too. And, um, you know, how, you know, you don't have to go into your personal details or anything like that. But just, you know, share if you do work with constellations and how that works for you. Okay, so the next one up. Oh, and also, um, Aries is the first sign in the zodiac, and um, it also is great for inspiration and for rapid movement. So for Taurus, we have the bull, and it is ruled by Venus, and it is a fixed earth sign. It's good for stability, beauty, pleasure, material things, love, money, prosperity, real estate, and stubbornness. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear some of the traffic going by. Um, so, hopefully that doesn't mess up the video. So, um, Gemini is next. That's going to be the third uh, constellation in the zodiac. It is the twins, and it is ruled by Mercury, and it is a mutable air sign. And it's good for communication, cleverness, trickery, analysts, reason, dispute, intellect, and changeability. The next one up is Cancer. And that's the fourth sign in the zodiac and it is the crab it is ruled by the moon 
So this definitely is a strong um, constellation. And after I go through the constellations and the meaning of the zodiac, I'll go ahead and share with you guys some of the stuff that I have wrote down for um, the planet's strengths and weaknesses in the zodiac. So yeah, all right. Um, cancer, the crab, it's ruled by the moon, cardinal water sign. It's good for intense emotion, rapid movement, love, changes, need for variety, divination, hidden things, and beginnings. So I would think that working with the moon when it's in Cancer, the full moon in Cancer, would be great for finding, finding things that you've lost, uh, new beginnings, it says, and also divination, you know, um, all forms of divination, I guess, if you're into scrying and tarot reading and all that good stuff. So the next one is Leo. This is the fifth um, constellation of the zodiac. It's the lion, and it's ruled by the sun. And it is a fire sign. It's good for royalty, nobility, stagnation, inspiration, passion, leadership, and stubbornness. So if you've been, I guess, stubborn or not getting things done, then working with Leo, working with the full moon in Leo, would probably be a good time to settle that down and um, pick stuff back up. And good for, you know, inspiration. So I guess it's a good time you could sit down and just kind of write and gather your thoughts and get inspired. So, um, moving on along. Number six is Virgo, and it is the Virgin, and it's ruled by Mercury, and it is an Earth sign. It is for communication, material things, messages, changes, intellect, changeability, and tangible reality. Seven is Libra, the scales. So that's probably going to be a little bit about balance. It's ruled by Venus. It's a cardinal air sign. And it is good for beauty, pleasure, intellect, communication, love, reason, senses, and also new beginnings. So you can start new beginnings in Libra as well. Um, and the eighth one is Scorpio. That is the scorpion. It is ruled by Mars, and it is a water sign. It's good for warfare, aggression, intense emotion, hidden things, maintenance of status quo, stubbornness, vengeance, and anger. <laughs> well, I don't really see um, most of us working with vengeance, really, I guess. Um, but I guess it would be a good time to work if you have anger building up. Then you could really, you know, try to release those angers, work with those anger um, emotions, and, you know, try to work through it. So the ninth one is Sagittarius. That is the archer. And it is ruled by Jupiter. Um, and as we know, Jupiter is a the giver of good luck. Um, so Jupiter is a uh, very giving of good luck and things like that. Also, it is a mutable fire sign, Sagittarius is. And it's good for expansion, learning, changes, passion, inspiration, good luck, religion, and foreign countries. So that good luck, you know, working with Jupiter, if Jupiter, if the full moon's in Jupiter, it's going to be a great time for maybe, you know, manifesting some good luck in your life or something like that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to keep on going. <laughs> Capricorn, which is the 10th constellation, that's the water goat. And it is ruled by Saturn, and it is an earth sign. It's good for leadership, restrictions, limitations, rapid movements, material things, tangible reality, real estate, and also new beginnings. <clears throat> so um, the 11th one is Aquarius. That is the water barrier. It is ruled by Saturn, and it is an air sign. And... It is good for stability, stagnation, stubbornness, restrictions, limitation, intellect, communication, sharing knowledge, cleverness, and analysts, or analysis. Uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> all right, but um, I've gone on nine minutes, so I'm going to keep on going because it's obviously going to be long. So the 12th and the last constellation of the zodiac is Pisces, that is the fish. It's ruled by Jupiter, and it is a mutable water sign. It's good for um, working with religion, expansion, learning, changes in your life, intense emotion, finding hidden things, and it's a good for ending. Just like, since it's the end of the zodiac, just like Aries is for new beginnings because it's the new beginning and the new start, Pisces is good for ending things, so... 
I guess maybe if you wanted to maybe give up some old habits or something like that, this would be a good time to end that. And the last sign, I mean, it is the last sign of the zodiac. Okay, so now I'm going to run real quick through the planet's strengths and weaknesses in the zodiac. Okay, so Saturn is very strong when it's in Capricorn and Aquarius. It is strong in Libra, but it is very weak in Cancer and Leo, and it is weak in Aries. So, um, Jupiter is the next one. It's very strong in Sagittarius and Pisces. It is strong in Cancer. It is very weak in Gemini and Virgo, and it's weak in Capricorn. Mars is very strong in Aries and Scorpio. It is strong in Capricorn, very weak in Libra and Taurus, and it's weak in Cancer. The sun is very strong in Leo. You know, Leo is like the power sign with the lion and things. So, yeah, you can see how the sun really would be strong in Leo. It's also strong in Aries, but it's weak in Aquarius. And it's, um, I mean, I'm sorry, it's very weak in Aquarius, and then it's weak in Libra. And on to the next. Okay, Venus is very strong in Taurus and Libra. It's also strong in Pisces. It's very weak in Aries and Scorpio, and it's weak in Virgo. And for Mercury, very strong in Gemini and Virgo, especially Virgo. So it's very strong in, in Virgo. And then it's weak, very weak, I'm sorry, in Sagittarius and Pisces. And it says especially weak in Pisces. And for the last one, the moon. The moon is very strong in Cancer. It's strong in Taurus. It's very weak in Capricorn. And it's weak in Scorpio. So, there it is. That is the planet strength and weaknesses along with the constellations and the meanings of the zodiac. Um, like I said, if you've worked with this stuff before and you've got some experience or any kind of information you would like to share, um, please do. I'd love to you know, see comments, video response, or anything like that. It'd be great. Um, and I'll show you this real quick. I was putting together my art book and I used some of this wow I don't know if you can see it but this is some pink leather so this is like kind of like a book of shadows slash creative art journal slash diary <laughs> slash um, just personal thoughts and things so this is the newest one I've been working in and you know I usually have like five or six books laying around that I work in at the same time like I'll have a, a journal for uh, dreams I'll have a journal for personal thoughts I'll have a journal for just artwork um, so that's why I'm trying to start working in this one <laughs> so that I can kind of keep everything in one spot so I'm not carrying around like or having to look through four or five books to find what I'm doing or what I did do so um, if you can see um, I told all these little I don't know if you can see it <laughs> um, but I told all this leather with I think you can kind of see it like that with the moon and the stars and then I colored them in and I also did the back a lot more stars on the back there because I am a moon and star freak and then I did the edges oh and um, I also always write with a what do you know purple pen <laughs> and <clears throat> purple lighter because as y'all know I am a purple freak but anyway um, I guess I'll go ahead and go for now and I will see you guys soon. Um, thank you all to everyone that's been subscribing. I cannot believe the subscriptions that I have. It's um, pretty shocking. <laughs> and um, I just really appreciate it. And I love all you guys for, you know, wanting to follow me and, you know, wanting to be a part of my life. I, I love it. I want to be a part of all you li all of y'all's lives too. So it's just a wonderful um, thing to be here. And um, thank you again to all the subscribers and um, all of the new friends that I've made. I'm so excited. So um, everybody have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.